Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the sketch tools here at the top. And you can see that the sketch tool palette is divided into three basic sections. This first section is for uh, standard looking shapes, squares, circles, ellipses, and polygons. And then the second set of tools is to create manually draw your own shapes onto the grid. And then the third section is for uh, doing something with an existing shape. So we'll, we'll cover each of these uh, in order. The first thing I'm going to do is, because these are flat shapes, I'm going to take a look at the grid from up top. And the way I do that is I can come to our little cube up here and just click on the top button. And that brings us into this view here, which is just looking at our grid from above uh, in, in sort of in two dimensions. So the first thing I want to bring out onto the board is a rectangle. If I click and choose the rectangle and click onto my grid, you'll see that a square appears asking me where do I want to start. If I click once more, that starts the square or rectangle. And then I just pull out until I and notice that it's snapping to the grid. So if I maybe want to make this um, two of these squares tall and three wide, I click here one more time, and that confirms my shape. So I'm going to um, come back to perspective view just to, so you can see what this shape looks like. Keep in mind that these are generated for the purpose of later on extruding them, making them into three-dimensional shapes. But um, allowing you to create the shapes flat first it gives you the best opportunity for creating the exact shape that you want. So I'm going to go back up to top view and zoom out a little bit. And the rest is pretty straightforward. I mean, these, uh, in addition to creating a rectangle, you can create a circle, an ellipse, and a polygon. And on this polygon shape, I'm going to show you because it is a little different. I'm going to click on it once, click on the grid where I want it to start. And then as I start to pull out away from the center, you'll see that it by default selects uh, six faces. Uh, and as I drag, out and in the amount, the distance, the millimeters for the radius appears there. So if I hit my tab key, I can jump to the sides and I can change it to, for example, an octagon or I can change it to a pentagon. So it just depends on what you're wanting to create. I'll leave it as a pentagon for now and then I'll click and I'll hit the check mark. The check mark um, signifies you're done with the sketch. You could also hit the escape key. 